In this Rhino tutorial, I want to uh, show you how we can model the contour table easily in Rhino with simple commands. So first we're going to uh, define the surface and make the solid. And at the end, we're going to use the contour to uh, make the solids. So I'm going to start with a simple rectangular surface here. I'm going to define a rectangular plane, zero, maybe 30 to 30. Okay, again, zero. The size is going to be 30 by 30. Let's go to the shaded mode. And we can simply rebuild this because we need to deform it later. So I'm going to use a 30, 30 uh, isocurve surface here. Okay, the next part is to use the record history. So I'm going to use the record history here and uh, simply uh, use the array uh, polar tool. So let's go to this. The center is here and the number is four. And we need 360 degrees. That's it. Okay. So you can see that uh, simply when I move this uh, or rotate this, uh, the array is also moving and rotating. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to define a line in here and deform the base surface. So let's use the soft edit surface tool and use this point. Let's just move this up and let's just go to this. We can maybe use a 20 maybe and move this up and we can also move this 20 up and as you can see how simple you can produce uh, the surface of the table. Okay, these are four surfaces. So to make better results, as you can see here, we have a little bit of problem on the curves here. What I'm going to do is to use the merge uh, surface tool. So I'm going to use the merge surface and be sure to uh, check this command with different tolerances because uh, you can see that if I use these two pairs, there is not a chance and it says that edges are too far apart to merge. So I'm going to use a smaller tolerance, a bigger tolerance base, uh, basically. This is 0 0.1 and use these two surfaces. And you can see that this uh, two parts is going to be one. Okay, the next is to again merge these two ones and at the last step we can merge these two parts together. So you can see this is going to be a simple single surface and we can just get rid of these problems here by again rebuilding the surface and maybe 15 by 15 a smaller number will give you better results and you can see that this is going to give you a simple great surface on this you can also check uh, how smooth the surface is by going to the analyze section the curvature analyze and using this environment uh, analyze tool. So I'm going to use this. And as you can see here, you can see how smooth this is. You can use uh, maybe a brushed silver to see this uh, brush to gold and uh, maybe a sunset. So this is going to use the environment map to show you how smooth the surface is. And if you had a problem, you can just see that, uh, see it in the surface. So this is the base surface we have. We can move this up a little bit and define the base surface for the solid. So I'm going to go to the uh, rectangle surface or plane and use a plane here and move this down. So let's just go to the front and move this up, okay. And now we just have to make this a solid. So what I'm going to do is to uh, choose both of them and use the duplicate border. Okay, duplicate border here and here we go. So we have two borders here. We can loft them together, loft. And we have the surface. Now we can just uh, connect both of the, these three surfaces, the top, bottom and the corners by simply giving it join. And you can see that this is going to be a closed poly surface. Now we can use the contour uh, command to simply make the table. 
So you can also change the height of the table by just scaling this a little bit if you want to make it a better uh, dimension. So let's just move this, delete those curves, and let's just move this to the center, okay? Now what I'm going to do is to maybe uh, we want to make a curve here. So uh, why I'm doing this, let me just uh, go for the contour. So I'm going to use the contour here. And before I go back to the scale, you can see that this size is exactly 60. And it was uh, basically it was a 30 and a 30. It has to be 60. But you can see that there is a simple tolerance here. We can just have a scale and scale this to here and go to 60. Okay, so be sure that this is a round number so we can simply have a better results. Okay, the contour, uh, the base, uh, the start of the contour is here. The direction is in the X direction. And maybe we want uh, the distance between the contours is two that's okay and let me just move this here and you can see those curves uh, before we make the solids uh, be sure to join them you can see there's a problem here basically it didn't just uh, have the section of this because this is a little bit of uh, back and front so we can just join these and delete the uh, starting curve and the last one here so we have better results okay and now we can go to the solids and use this extrude close planar curve and give this the direction so you have to give this a direction and the x is the direction we need and two is the number of extrusions so you can see how simply uh, you can just produce the contour uh, curves and the solids and this is for the table. So if you want to give this a little bit of curvature, uh, remember we can't uh, have a curvature here because if we want to have a curvature here, the problem is that these straight sections are going to be bent, okay? And we, have, we will have problems in making them. But if you want to make it simple as possible, we can give a curvature here, and that is because it will not affect the uh, Mm, the length of the, the distance between the sections and the thickness is exactly the same as the number two we used. So I'm going to kind of select all of them and go for cage edit. So I'm going to use the cage edit tool uh, using a bounding box. Uh, this is a world system, okay, world. So the uh, most important thing is to give the right number of X point a y point and z point. So we, when we want to deform this, we don't really uh, care about the z because there is only two points up and down to that. So I'm going to uh, keep this to two and put these to odd numbers because when we have five, one, two, uh, three, four, and five, we can simply select these two and move them. Or maybe it's going to give six. So I'm going to make this x five five and two times okay and now what I'm going to do is to simply just use the center of this this is going to be one two three four five so I'm going to use these uh, set of points here and again with the shift key I'm going to choose these two set of points and we can simply scale them in the y direction so I'm going to give this a click on this and type 0 0.5 I want to scale this 0.5 the factor and you can see that simply uh, how we can scale this let's go to the rendered thing you can see we have a curvature here so this is how you can simply give this table a curvature and at the end uh, we can just scale this but remember that this will just change the uh, distance between the the thickness of the parts and this will be your table so remember to uh, scale uh, your solid before you use the control tool and this is the table you can see so we can just go this to the render and this is the table 
So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this or put underneath this video and thank you for subscribing to our channel.